Welcome back. I don't know if you know this, but it's the 4th of July tomorrow. And if you're tired of, mm. if you've tried taking those photos of fireworks, especially on your iPhone, chances are you've ended up with something that looks like this, a little blurry off in the distance. It is brutal. Uh, so don't fall victim to the bad firework photos you see on Twitter and Instagram. Sydney Tetro here with a few best practices to give you all of the best shots all on your iPhone. No fancy camera required here. So question is, why do so many photos turn out so bad? Of Are fibers? we all just that bad at taking photos? Well, you just have to know a few tricks, right? This is the perfect place where mm -hmm. tech and lifestyle intersect. Right, we right. all want the Instagram photo, mm -hmm. right? We're all trying to post that. So let's talk about a few things. There's some physical things you can do with your phone, and then there's some actual things in the camera like itself. Like settings themselves. Exactly, settings okay. that make a difference. So on the phone itself, you're always trying to keep it the most stable you can. Mm -hmm. So I've got an example here of a little bit, a tripod. It's really easy to use and port portable. And you have the pop socket in your hand. My uh, husband has one of these on his phone, and he absolutely loves it. All of your kids probably want one or have one. Mm -hmm. and it's like a great way, exactly, to keep the phone stable so that it's not moving all around as you're Wait, I don't understand. Do How does it, it stay stable? It on the back of your phone, and it's like a little exactly. tripod. Oh, okay. Not or cool. you can put your fingers around it and hold it and so hold your phone's it, so you just don't... a little more stable. Oh, so you don't drop interesting. It. So it's a really good option. The other yeah. thing you want to keep in mind is you got to clean your lens, especially if you're oh, in yeah. humid mm -hmm. places. Clean the lens. It will make a very big difference. And females, when you get makeup on, I'm telling you what, <laughs> that is half smudgy. the reason my photos are blurry. That's right. Clean it. And then the other thing is forget the resistance to zoom. You don't want to zoom ever when you're taking photos, right? We always want to do that. Yeah. You can you zoom, zoom later, right, when That's you're right. editing the photos. Exactly. But you don't want to zoom when you're taking it because that messes up the pixels or something? Exactly. Oh. It will distort the photo naturally, so always let it be in that main setting. Okay. So All now right. let's move and talk a little bit about what settings I can do on my phone. Okay, so I am what ready you, here, okay. so okay. let's talk about it. Okay, great. So the first thing is you're always going to go to landscape mode. You know how all the stories want you vertical? Do not take fireworks vertically. Move okay. to landscape, landscape mode. Why like is that? This. Um, it's because you're going to get a greater field of view and a greater ability to focus on different things. Okay. okay. So go for landscape. You might capture a few things you didn't expect either. That, that's, that's okay, too. And then the other <laughs> thing is you're going to turn off your flash. So okay. you're going to go to your flash settings over oh, right. here, right? Okay. And just and go ahead and turn it completely sure off rather than don't turn auto. auto. Yeah. That will be the best way to ruin the photo for, with everyone else who's okay. around you. So oh. you don't want to do that. Don't and be that guy. The other thing is the iPhone has a really great exposure setting. So you know how when you so tap this is your you, phone right now. This is my phone right now. We're you know looking what? at it on on the screen here. That's right. Um, it's kind of you can see my makeup bag there at the exactly. desk. Exactly. We got the studio Josh here. That's right. Hi, Josh. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> and so you see how you get the little sun next to it where uh -huh. you focus. You can actually move that up and down oh, to determine okay, the cool. exposure. I never do that. And when you do that, it allows you to get better photos depending on the lighting. So huh. in this case, like last night, I was at the Stadium of Fire okay. capturing photos of the fireworks. And this was exactly the setting that allowed me to capture the bright lights of the fireworks, but at the same time be in a stadium, right, where it was far away. Whoa. So these are the things you're looking for. So in the exposure... Right, you can move this up and down. And in the case of fireworks, I wanted to move it so the surround was darker. Okay. So that I would capture the bright the lights brightness. of the fireworks. Oh, my goodness. I, that's that so simple. Cool. I never even thought of that. And then you guys mentioned also when we were just talking burst mode. It's a great way to do it, mm -hmm. right? I focus like this. So a couple of things. Once you focus on this and then you move the exposure, Let's that's bring when back you have the to take the camera if we can yeah, so throw, you can see it. Throw camera up. Okay. Um, because you're just going to essentially hold the picture button down, right? That's, exactly. So now that I've got it at the setting I want, I'm just going to take the photo. And uh -huh. if I'm going to do burst, I just hold it I'll do down. it again, right? And then I just hold it as long as I want. And you can Look see. Look at that. 10, 12, 15, 20 okay, pictures right there. A lot of people don't know how to get to the burst then. Okay, great. So if we come back over here to burst, um, and I'm going to go, actually, I have to go into all of my photos here. Oh, and we click family. this one. That's right. <laughs> and we go select. Then all of a sudden you see the photo stream here oh. of all of those burst modes that we just took. Okay, um, a lot of people don't know how to get to that. I introduced that to way. you a while ago. Yeah, somebody told me about that. I can't remember where it was, and me. it very well may have been me. you, Sheriff. But somebody me. told me about the burst mode, especially when trying to get pictures of your kids smiling. If there's exactly. something active going on, to use the burst, hold down the camera I button. That's it. good. Yeah. That's right. And I, and, and I used all of those last night. I captured some great video, and I captured some great photos. One of the other tricks that I had is when I was trying to capture those photos and even the video, I actually continuously tapped on the square to capture the, the yeah. fireworks Keep that I wanted focus. so that it would keep it focused, which kept the video really clear and okay. allowed me to get a bunch of great photos, including there was one where they had a laser view of the American flag mm. and fireworks in the background, and we caught all of that um, on video well, and on there you go. Now you know. See, we all the have these iPhones, photo. and if you're like me, you have no idea how to work them. So, Sydney, thanks for bringing us <laughs> a couple of tips ahead of the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July.